Jared Polin fro knows photo.com here with another photo of the week and this week it is from the Hooters Hooters the band that's right I've been shooting a lot of shows again lately uh, and it's a lot of fun and that's why I am highlighting those photos and I just realized something it's like the image is straight right here so my lines are right but it looks like this scaffolding up here isn't straight like one end isn't raised high enough um yeah, because I, I like straight lines, and I like my lines to be right on. But that's beside the point. Uh, let's look at this photo, how I took it, why I took it, and how I ended up actually behind the drummer on stage in front of, well, in back of all of these people. Um, so, taken at 1 400th of a second at 2.8 ISO 800, 14 millimeters using the 14 to 24 Nikon 2.8 with the Nikon D3S. Now, I've done shots similar to this before on tour with Perry Farrell, and I've used the fisheye, uh, and I chose not to use the fisheye this time because I've, I've actually not been taking that out of the box, the box, the bag, the retrospective 30. I haven't been taking it out too often. I just think that the fisheye is a very limiting lens. Now, I probably should have done it both ways just so I would have had both, um, that is, you know, that's how I like to do things. I like to have multiple shots done with different lenses so I can then choose which one I actually like. So what was I going for in this photo? Well, the crowd, the lights are rarely on in the crowd. So I want to show that it's a packed house. It's a full house to see the Hooters play as they always put on a tremendous show with this one so happened to have three encores and they just have a lot of great music. But I, ha I was the only person cleared to go on stage that night. So I, I went from the pit. We had, there were a lot of photographers in the pit. There were probably seven or eight. And I, I just don't like being in the pit with too many people. And I'm sure they don't like being in there with too many people because it's just, there's a lot of people. Uh, but what was interesting is a lot of times I only let you shoot three songs. The Hooters let everybody shoot the whole show. That's the way it should be. Get in, shoot the show. But I was cleared to go on stage. So I just walked myself backstage walked up on stage, snuck behind, um, let's see, I can show you other shots, uh, there I'm in the pit, I'll show you these quick stuff, so th this is behind the drummer, and shot from the stage, that shot from the stage, so I, I could go anywhere I wanted, uh, you know, and I know what I'm doing within reason, and I don't overstep my boundaries or go places I shouldn't go, but I'm very careful not to unplug anything, because that would be terrible to unplug some guy's guitar, and then they look at you, and you're crazy, and you lose everything. So, I basically went behind the drummer, and I, and I sat or knelt, kneeled down behind him, waiting for the moment when the lights were going to go on in the house, uh, when they were talking to the crowd, or they had the crowd singing back. So then I stepped up onto the riser, I had my settings in manual at these settings, and stepped up on the riser, click, click, took a couple pictures, stepped down, made sure I got what I wanted, and then moved on. What's interesting and makes this picture even better, and this is the unedited version, these lights right here, the ha these down lights or whatever they were going on, that there's the shot after. I'm not as happy with it because then lights went on to the drummer, highlighting the drummer too much. That's why I like this photo. So let's edit it. Contrast, boom, straight up. Not much else to be done here. I know, that's probably too contrasty. I know, I know. No, you know what? I like all that contrast. It's thick. The focus is all of this. This is where your focus is. And this is shot at 2.8. And look, when you shoot with a 14 millimeter front to back in focus, I am focused right here on Eric because that is where I should have been focused. He's the, you know, the center point of where I wanted. What is that noise? Oh, it's the cat playing with something. Kitty, what are you doing? I think he's eating a think tank bag. Kitty, don't eat the think tank bag. All right, he's not eating it anymore. So, I like this angle, and I'm going to make it a little warmer with some yellow. And yes, I'm touching the fill light slightly just to see what would happen. But I'm just going to tink my exposure up a little bit from where I had it. Right about there. And you see how the warmth is there? This is a... What? Kitty's really happy. Anyway, so... I just love the feel of this photo. It's great to be showing the whole crowd. Everybody is in here just watching and loving everything. It's sold out, packed house at the Electric Factory in Philadelphia. Um, so just a lot of people, a lot of fun, 
and that's the edit. This is the unedited. This is the edited. I'm very happy with this. This just is a nice photo. It shows not only a great image, but access. What happens when you get the access, you get the shots that other people that night don't get. So that's the photo of the day. Photo of the week. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!